This is the Heart of the LAFC Podcast, episode 114. The City of Angels is black and gold. You are listening to the Heart of LAFC Podcast. And now, here are your hosts, Jerry Jimenez and Joseph Zacker. What is up? Welcome to the Heart of LAFC Podcast. My name is Jerry Jimenez, your host, your friend, your insider into the Los Angeles Football Club. Thank you for joining Joseph and I for episode 114 of the Heart of LAFC. Mr. Joseph Zacker, let me see if I can get you here on screen. What's going on, sir? How are you? And I'm ready. You ready? That, that, it's playoff mode, dude. It that is. Simple. It is playoff mode. Absolutely, man. Uh, man, do we? We have a lot to talk about today, sir. We do. We do. Uh, we we missed last week. I wanted to just start off by saying I apologize. Okay, because uh, uh, that that was my fault. Uh, I was a little sick. Uh, and I actually still am sick. So if you see me kind of. If you're watching us on YouTube, by the way, thank you for joining us tonight and hanging out kind of last minute. I know I kind of threw this up there a little bit late, but I worked a little late today. That's another thing. And uh, yeah, if you see me kind of go over to the side and if you're on YouTube, I'm probably going to hit the mute button quite a bit today. So I apologize. Joseph was like, are you still, are you okay? Are you alive? Can we record today? Uh, is this happening? Uh, yeah. 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 Is this happening? So, uh, but it's, it's been a. It's been a tough uh, couple of weeks, so I apologize. Thank you guys for hanging in there and uh, waiting for us. Um, you yeah, have plenty of other awesome podcasts to listen to, just like I did, by the way. Check check out uh, the new stuff from FCFC. Check out Defenders of the Bank. Uh, shoulder to Shoulder guys busting out a whole bunch of awesome oh, stuff, yeah. too. Just make sure you guys check those out while we are gone. That's the only thing that makes me feel a little bit better uh, when you know I'm not actually able to do these or, or you're not able to do these because sometimes right it's things not happen. always my fault sometimes it's just fault. Sometimes, sometimes it's me yeah mostly sure. me though mostly me but ah. you know ah. it's happened eh. no biggie yeah no biggie, no biggie. we're ready in time for playoffs that's what matters most correct we are yeah. ready to go today episode 114 is titled for los angeles because that is our motto this these playoffs and mm-hmm. oh my goodness, we have uh, we have quite a bit to talk about. Like I mentioned, um, you know what I was noticing though, it, dude, is there there's something weird about your room um, here? If you guys aren't watching on here, hold on, here we go. It's a little shinier than normal. It's maybe. a little shinier than normal. There's like some brightness in here. Did you get a new scarf or something? No, no, not a scarf. Okay. All right, well, we'll just keep it going then. We'll uh, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretend like there's nothing right behind your right shoulder there. Nah, nah it's okay. <laughs> I don't know if we are the first ones ever, but ladies and gentlemen, we do have a special guest with us we this do. podcast. If you're not, again, if you're listening to the podcast, thank you. But uh, you should probably go to YouTube and watch this because uh, right yeah. over, right over Joseph's right shoulder, ladies and gentlemen, it, our special not guest. A Falcon this time. It's not, a, it's not a falcon. Uh, do you do you wanna you wanna introduce our uh, our guest? Uh, that would be the one and only MLS supporters Shield, um, polished and ready yes. to go. Yes, uh, nice and clean. Uh, uh, I took some time on that bad boy today to make sure it's on point, and not damaged or anything like that. And that is too yeah. awesome. And also, it's a nice way to. Get ready for the playoffs, and it's yeah, it's got its moment there. Oh yeah, uh, all, all thirty-five pounds of, of glory for our club. Um, that thing's heavy, man. I can't believe it's right there. Like this is crazy, but it's there. It's there, and it's gonna be our host. And it might not make noise, but it might catch some radio signals. So I don't know. Ah. It's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. As, as my as my son looked at it and said, treasure. Yes, kid, you got it. It is a treasure. Nice. That is awesome. Yeah, uh, he's in pirate mode, and that was treasure for him. So it weighs more than him, but it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, oh, that's yeah, hilarious, so, dude. Yeah, we got, we got the supporter shield for our show. Very cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, thank you, everybody, and 3252 for that option, uh, that, that really cool uh, opportunity. Um, I am transporting it, you know, 
for another function pretty soon here and it'll make another appearance and yeah so it's my turn today to to hold on to it, protect it, and make sure it does, no mayhem occurs for the next two days. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. No, yeah. well, welcome to the, uh, you know, MLS Supporter Shield. That's amazing. And uh, I Edition don't know if, of, of the Heart of LASU podcast. I think I think we might. I don't know if we if we are the first, but we may be one of the first podcast live streaming with the Shield actually present. That is probably crazy. Probably the first live stream. Yeah. That is so yeah. crazy. Uh, I could be wrong, right? A, a couple, I could definitely be wrong. A couple right? of people are asking if you sleep with it, Joseph. Not me, but I wouldn't put it past some other people. Ah, uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, it's a little heavy for the bed, I must say. Like, it is legitimately heavy. I mean, technically, that's a bed, right? So, yeah. Um, too much respect for that. Like that right there. That is the supporter shield. To me, that's the hardest thing to get um, yeah. for, do, for the domestic competition, right? I mean, that is, that is the ultimate, right? That is the ultimate trophy right there for me because of how hard it is to get it. Um, it's yeah. not a four-game run. It's not a quick streak. You have to show what you've done for an entire year. So, And making it even more important, it's created by the supporters, it's paid for by the supporters. We own it in the ISC. It's passed along no matter who the winner is, no matter what the rivalry is between the two teams sharing it, the, the pass occurs. It happens. Um, and that that's special. Uh, you're not going to find that anywhere else in the world. This is unique um, to have the, a shield that's passed by supporters in, in, in a civil way, in a celebratory way, to show the progress that we make here. So yeah. it means beyond it for me have it there i know i'm just letting you have your moment right now dude because i can i i know i know how hard uh you know how much work was put into um everything that supporters do not just 32 52 but around the league um that shield means a lot to supporter culture to supporters in the united states i think more than maybe some people really can understand and so um this is a huge moment man this is amazing like seriously now, uh, th that shield doesn't speak very much, but it also does speak volumes uh, for what uh, not just this club has accom accomplished, but what the supporters have accomplished as well. So uh, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Yeah, and, it, and it's ever growing um, as we're seeing many of our groups within the 3252 now signing on and, and applying to be a part of ISC. Um, we are the fastest growing supporter uh supporter groups or at least our numbers of supporters joining isc is the quickest of any group it's pretty insane to see what's happening so nice. um i take a great deal of pride just to be a part of 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 all of it um and uh yeah i mean shout out to everybody involved it's 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 cool like i said we're receiving it we didn't make it but we've been a part of the process and that that's perfect that's perfect yeah they're all 35 pounds of it are right behind Joseph. Hey, and, and there's a couple of people say, Alex Martinez on here said, you guys need to work on those dead arms. It's not too heavy. Yeah, it's heavy, man. It's 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 heavy. And I think it's also bulky. So that's part of it. I mean, too. I can carry right. it one handed. I mean, trust me, I, you know, I was kind of running with an old book style yeah. over the weekend. Um, and I mean, you know, before <laughs> I took it out on the field for the game that it was on the field, I it was pretty much just Myra and I handling it and making sure that it was good. So oh, it's, right. it's heavy, but it's cool, dude. Like, it's we, it's still ma super manageable. We haven't really so. talked since the Colorado game. So, uh, you know, congratulations. That was Oh, we did talk. Never mind. Yeah, we did. We did. We talked we did. about we that did. one. Yeah, we yeah. did. Um, well, I was there. That was another mm. thing. But, uh, no, that was it was an awesome game. It was uh, also just celebration, man. And now yeah. we prepare for yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah, so this... Sir. This lovely trophy will, will will take a minor break from public viewing once we get into the playoffs. Yeah. Um, once it kicks off after after Wednesday night, she takes a minor sleep because um, mm -hmm. we got to focus. We got to focus on playoffs, and that that's what it's going to be. So yeah. the tour takes a break. We focus on it. Hopefully, we do what we got to do on Thursday, and then uh, we'll see this one after the finals. Hopefully, that'll be the plan. That's right. So LAFC yeah. is set to host the Galaxy on Thursday, in case you guys didn't know. I don't know why you're listening to this podcast. Who wouldn't know already. about that, right? Thursday, October 24th. 
for the 2019 Audi MLS Cup Western Conference semifinals. Uh, kickoff at Bank of California Stadium is set for 7.30 p.m. Pacific time and will be broadcast live on the big one, ESPN. ESPN Deportes, ESPN 710 AM, and KFWB 980. Just like good old Donnie Garber wanted, we get another traffic and we get it in the playoffs. So there you go. Um, and as I'm talking about Mr. Don Garber, congratulations to Sacramento. Today, officially named the 29th club to make it into MLS. So welcome. It's been a long time coming. Where the hell have you been? Finally, you know, uh, they came up with the 200 and finally came yep. up with the $250 million or whatever it is to buy into MLS and seventh place in uh, USL, but that doesn't matter. They got money. So welcome into MLS. They should have been here a decade ago, let's be yeah, honest. Absolutely. Um, I mean, they, they've they've, they've been trying hard, and they've been getting pushed to the side. And yeah, no, forget it. They should have been there a long time ago. Well, and um, their whole uh, thing was built built for MLS, and they totally have been. So, mm-hmm. you know, there you go. Um, uh, if we're going to jump into a few things. First of all, again, we're facing Galaxy on Thursday the 24th. Uh, and we do have to talk about how, why, how and why we're playing the Galaxy, how we got to this point. Um, first of all, did you watch the game, Joseph? Minis- I did. Minnesota versus Galaxy. Uh, the, the the formation, or I shouldn't say formation, the lineup that Minnesota came out with was not their best. I don't know no. what I don't know what their coach was thinking. Um, Mr. Heath, what were you doing? Um, just to kind of go over their uh, their lineup real quick, they had Manone in the back, normal. Mm-hmm. And then they had Gasper Boxall, Opara, and Matineri on the right. Then they had uh, Gray Goose and Alonso. Ozzy Alonso hasn't been starting for them for a while. And no. There he, he is. Um, and then up front, Lod, Molino, Finley, and then Rodriguez. Rodriguez. First of all, a lot of people were like, why didn't you have very much experience? Whatever. Okay. Uh, but then there's Darwin Quintero didn't start. Their star player, Mr. Darwin Quintero, did not get to start. I mean, it's been a lack of consistency there, at least for playtime for him. Uh-huh. So I, I kind of see what he was getting at. I think it, honestly, I think his game plan is maybe what we might be doing with these guys is basically get through the first 20 minutes. Don't let them rattle you. Settle the game down. As they wear down, as the game gets on, put the speed in, put the skill in. Yeah. So let Alonzo basically play bulldog. And then bring the boys in and take over in the second half. I think that was the plan. Let's be honest, it backfired. It absolutely <laughs> it backfired, backfired. Um, yeah. for for Galaxy. And this is probably like I'm almost at 100 percent sure that this is going to be the lineup that we're going to be seeing on Thursday. You have Bingham in the back. You have well, there's a couple. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe there's a couple. Uh, um, there, yeah, Romney, Polenta, I mean, Stairs, and Gonzalez in the back. Uh, and then you have Dos Santos and. Actually, Perry Kitchen starting. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you had, uh, obviously, Antuna, uh, who did not have a great great game. Uh, Leggett, Bavon, and then uh, uh, Ibra up front. So, uh, and, and you may say, well, I, you know, he, I, he, he had an okay game. Uh, you know, well, I mean, it was Dos Santos and Leggett that scored the goals. Which, by the way, that Jonathan Dos Santos goal. Great goal. Yeah. yeah that's give pretty it much. Him. Yeah, he looped it right in. I mean, you could say Ibra had a bad game, but he still managed to get six shots on goal. <laughs> Ibra did? Ibra still had six shots. <laughs> yeah, still, okay. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at the one, numbers. And one and one broken up play that created a goal. Yeah, well, I mean, but if you're looking at the numbers, it, it's, it's interesting because apparently Minnesota had more shots than yeah. the Galaxy. I However, to, there were, yeah. most of them were off target. Yeah, so they had, uh, I have it right here. Let's see. You had 14 shots to 10, but they only managed three of those shots on goal. It's the same thing that killed them against Atlanta for the Open Cup. Same thing. They can't finish. They can't finish. It it, it, it kills them every time. How do you fire off 14 and only get three on? The Galaxy had 10 shots, and six of them were on target. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Well, I, count, um, I actually had 13 shots, six on target, four off target, and then they had three blocked. Three um, blocked, so, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it, 
they did have a few that were, you know, good eight, shots. Eight, eight inside the box. Eight inside the box. And then look at p- possession. That's another interesting number. I, yeah, so fifty two to forty eight. Am I felt, reading that right? Yeah, and yeah. it felt like it was. It felt like it was uh, more to Minnesota. Honestly, there was some points mm-hmm. in Minnesota was really controlling the game and was, uh, you know, uh, keeping the pace of the game even. And long they, stretches, long yeah. stretches. It just felt like it was a lot more. But mm, I guess I was wrong. Was I think it, I think the Galaxy's become really happy playing absorb and counter. Like they're they're comfortable with that. Yeah, it's become a that. thing for them this year. Which, you know, that if that's what works, that's what works, especially in the playoffs. If you're on the road, why wouldn't you do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, even passing is interesting. Is 83% to 77%. Um, the only thing I could figure on that is because of long balls, because of just stretching out passes and creating runs, you're, you're going to be a little more low percentage on those plays. Mm-hmm. But I thought the Galaxy played the game they had to play to get through. They did exactly what they needed to. Yes, Minnesota had some chances. They should have finished. But if you watch them all year, it's the same old story. Their their finishing is atrocious. Yeah. You know, they have a reason to be mad. They got knocked out of the playoffs here because of finishing. They lost an open cup because of finishing. If you had watched that game, they should have won that game. They should have at least tied it and taken it to overtime. It just didn't happen for them because they can't finish. And so they're going to be watching. You know, we've we've had these stories with us before, right? RSL last year. Okay, we've been there, done that, and we still have problems with that this year. <sighs> yeah, we see we see the cautionary tale in front of us yet again. So we need to look at this as as what we need to do better. We see what they did. We can't fall into the same trap. Yeah, got to be smarter about it. Uh, a listener, uh, a listener, Drini's back, by the way. So that was interesting. Yes. To see. came in for uh, Antuna in the seventy third minute. Mm-hmm. One of mm-hmm. only two substitutions that Galaxy decided to make. I mean, the uh, the other one was just it, it was clear that they were just trying to waste some time to to keep the scoreline. Um, legit coming out, uh, Carrasco coming in in the in, in the ninety fourth, yeah. you know, ninety fourth minute or whatever it was. Uh, I mean, I don't. My whole thing is Abu Dhabi came in the seventy seventh. Toya came in for uh-huh. Rodriguez in the sixty seventh. Quintero came in for Finley in the 60th. These are all changes that should have happened much, much sooner, I think. Really late. Um, really late. The, the, it happened way too late. Minnesota just, mm-hmm. it, it almost seemed like uh, they felt overconfident of what they had. And then uh, they, they were just beat. And it was yeah. too late. It was too little, too late at the end of it. You know, when that one goal came in by Gregus, that's great, in the 87th minute. And all of a sudden, you saw a little bit of fire, uh, you know, but it still wasn't anywhere close to no, enough. It wasn't where it needed to be. And honestly, I think the substitutions kind of played it out, uh, at least yeah. for the Galaxy. Alessandrini comes in. He manages an assist in a short period of time. He had two shots inside the box. 86% passing. Again, 70, 17 minutes, and he basically ripped them up when he was in there. He did his job. Um, Krasko, again, it's injury time. But, you know, who's coming in? Who's coming out? How's it playing? Um, Dos Santos gets that goal. Again, he was 88%. 10 recoveries on the day. Two for two on tackles. And he had one shot all game outside of the box, and he hung it. That's what he had. Yep. Um, did his job. Um, to me, uh, Leget was another story for them. 89% passing on the day. Wow. Really efficient. That's really good. efficient. And Tooney, I know you were kind of giving him a little bit of hell, but he did have 92% passing and, and a shot. Oh. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. Recovery, I don't know anything. His recoveries Joseph? were sloppy, man. I, like that's what I was going to say. He, he yeah. His recoveries were super sloppy. Um, I didn't seem like it was 90 plus in passing it felt like it was way less uh, but what do i know why do i know you have yeah, you have actual stats yeah. in front of you i don't <laughs> i just... do uh, i know pavone on his he had four key passes in the match three for three on tackles 10 recoveries as well yeah um 81 percent passing because pavone tends to take more risky passes he does he does he does he does a great uh, job man pavone's a good uh, get for galaxy for sure yeah it was working out for them i'm not sure he'll be there next year but for this year he's doing the job Yep. Um, I, I'm I'm pretty sure for the Galaxy team, this is another window possibly closing this year. So you got to make the run now, because I think some bodies are going to move. So I could see it. I could see the way they're playing, the desperation in in the play. This is a temporary lineup, you know. 
it'll blow up again for them. Um, back line's interesting for them because they have what Gonzalez on the right this time, mm-hmm. which is different. Uh, Steris in the center, Polenta in the center, Romney on the left. Honestly, they to me they weren't at their greatest. I think on the left side they're much stronger. Between Rom- Romney and Polenta had the better day, which is interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, they absorbed way better. Um, but distribution wise, Polenta and Steris stood out coming out of the back. They weren't in the eighties range, but they were still getting they were still getting connections, uh, a little more dangerous connections. Um, to me, Gonzalez had the weaker day. He's only about sixty three percent passing. Um, got beat a few times, but they recovered. So and it's hey, interesting. What do you Every know? Ball. They can win a game without uh, Urbahimovic scoring. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's because he he takes up their best defenders, and they have to double team him out, and they put a little too much attention on him, and it opens it up for everybody else. So yeah. he creates space just by being there. That's true. You know, Opara had a had had a one hell of a workout, and he did well against Ibra, obviously. But he's isolated because of it. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it, it is what it is. Ibra is Ibra. He requires much more attention than any other player ever does outside of Vela, right? Um, yeah. You know, those two are, are behemoths in this in this league this year. But that is what it is. Um, our interesting thing, I don't know, seeing Alessandrini come back from injury makes it interesting for us. Seeing Joe Corona basically as a questionable in this last match, which means he's probably available for our match, could make another massive change for them in their lineup. Um, we had to be ready for that. He could be in the game because he plays against us. He played against us the last two matches. He got time. So one was a 90-minute production. One was not. Um, but he came in early, like 30-something minutes into the game. So... He's a difference maker. If he's in the lineup, it changes things for us because otherwise, what it's 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 Perry Kitchen and Antunia as the other options other than him. So, yeah. Um, the other thing is we don't know what their lineup's going to be because it's been different the last two times we played them, and then different for this playoff match. Yeah, things are shifting everywhere for them, so it's very hard to predict what it's going to be. Because honestly, I think he made a massive change after they blew it the last two games of the season. And I think the one guy that's in the in the doghouse that we're used to seeing, and he, I doubt we're going to see him. I'll be surprised. Is uh, what Skelvik? I'm going to mess around. I always Shelvick. mess up his name. Shelvik. Shelvik. I think he's in the doghouse right now. To be honest. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, he wasn't even. I don't think he was even dressed for this match. He wasn't listed as an injury. He's not. He's honestly not very much of a um, danger, anyways. So. I don't, well, think it, I don't think it affects them, and, and or it doesn't affect us in any way. Um, it actually would be yeah. nice to get him in there. Because I think yeah, he played 19 matches this year. Um, he started the 3-3 match, so he's I there. Also, Fletcher is another one that, that didn't play this match, but he played the last two matches against us. Yeah. Yeah, and said they had Gonzalez on that side. So. Yeah, it's it's going to uh, be interesting. Yeah, honestly, I, I think it made sense. Um, you know, every time I've seen them play, that's the guy I'd go after anyway. So, you know, that would be my source to attack. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking at, uh, like, uh, it's on paper, there's no reason why LAFC shouldn't have already beat Galaxy, right? And no, if, if you're looking at sense. The If you're looking at the numbers now, yeah, I'm just, here's some numbers. Uh, stats, goals for the season, LAFC with 85 um, or actually, I shouldn't say, yeah, season? Yes, season. Uh, LFC 85, Galaxy 58. Uh, that's funny, man. 85 is the year I was born. 58 is the year my dad was born. Uh, I just throw that out there. Uh, goals against. LAFC is at 37, uh, Galaxy 59. Uh, goal differential, 48 for LAFC. Negative one for Galaxy. Yep. Uh, if you're looking at possession, we are at 57 0.34%, Galaxy is at 50%. Uh, passing accuracy, we're above 2%. So 84.37, they're at 82.68. Uh, so slightly less than 2. Uh, dual success rate, that's where they beat us. Um, we are at 50.87, they're at 52.59. Um, set, pieces, set piece goals, this one's interesting. We're at 9 and Galaxy's at uh, 10. 
And then set mm. piece goals against, we're at four, they're at six. Um, again, if you're looking at those numbers, how in the world has a Galaxy been able to get four points over two matches against us? Uh, it's a mental thing. I think it been comes down caught to... caught cheating. What's that? Been caught cheating. Been caught cheating? <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously. We're not conservative enough coming out of the back against this oh, team. Oh, yeah. And yeah, they yeah. catch us on the break. I was like, wait, what does we he do? pinch too high. Can't get back. Yes. Could be the speed differences. They beat us right up the damn middle. Yeah, I said damn, I don't care. They beat us up the damn middle. The one thing you can't damn do. Damn middle. Yep. Right? Yep. I mean... We have we have these moments. Zimmerman has a bad day, or Harvey has a bad day. We haven't had the back line actually all put in the same work in a game against these guys. And you're not going to beat a team if you allow them to score three goals. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Don't expect to win a four three game. That's not normal. Okay. If you allow three, if you allow them to score in the first five minutes or ten minutes, you're going to have problems. Right. The sport is still the sport. Yep. It's supposed to be low scoring, especially in a playoff game. If we can't get out of the first 15 minutes, it's going to be a hard day for us. I honestly think, in my opinion, settle it. Get your rhythm, then then do the press. Yeah. Get the nerves out first. Yep. Settle things down. Make it a hard slog. Beat them up for a few minutes. Try your best to beat them up because we seem to not like to do that. And then take over. Because they run out of gas against us every time as well. By the time the game's ending, we're all over them. Doesn't pay off, but hey, if you would have held them early on, then you're going to shell them. It hasn't worked. And then, of course, the thing everybody's been talking about but not wanting to talk about is the goalkeeping. It always comes back to it. In the playoffs, you have to have a guy willing to steal it. You have to have the guy that, that's going to make a show out of this thing. So who are you putting and, out there, Joseph? I have to ask. I have to ask. I have to throw it in there. Who are you putting out there? I would prefer Cisnega, but I don't think he's the choice. I don't think he's the choice at all. I think Miller's settled in, guys. Um, as much as we want to debate it, Cisnega doesn't have enough games in, and if Zimmerman plays, look at it this way. Zimmerman plays, it's a guaranteed Miller plays. They match up. Yeah. And it doesn't match up that well with Cisniega. Um, if we're if we're sticking Blackman back there and Zimmerman's not ready to go, because do we know? I think he is, but um, then you might see Cisniega. It's a different read that they give off of each other. Segura, I think, works either way. He does get mad at Miller a little bit. The communication's interesting between the two. Um, my bigger question is who's starting on the outside on the left side? Oh, def- yeah. Are we and gonna who's starting on the right side? Let's get into it. Uh, so, yeah, go for it. Who do you think? Um, I think Bob tends to be a bit more of a traditionalist, and he he rewards people for for their hard work over a long period of time rather than the hot hand. Mm-hmm. He's not one to go for the hot hand. He goes for who who's consistent, who plays his system, and it'll probably be Beta and Harvey. Yep. Personally, I you know I'm I'm hoping for the best for the boys. I just hope that they get the chance to be a little bit more conservative in the approach, especially on the left. Yeah, I would I would agree. It's it's going to be. It, I, think I think we know it has our to lineup. be Beta Harvey, uh, t- Miller in the back. Guys. Zimmerman uh, is back. I, I I have a feeling he will be back there with, um, uh, with our boy. Uh, shoot, brain fart. Um. You, you know the back four. Segura, thank you. Uh, I'm still sick, guys. Sorry. Uh, so there you go. So that's your back four. Uh, now let's move on to the middle. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm going to go with Atuesta. I'm going to go yep. with uh, Mark Anthony K. Uh, if he's healthy. If he's healthy. And then here goes... Oh, that's true. Dang. I totally forgot about that. He was hurt yeah. in Canada with the Canada, Canadian team. Um, that stupid tournament. Okay. Yeah. So then Lee and... Uh, I mean, it's gonna. It's if he's not well, then it's gonna be Lee, and you're gonna see Blessing there. Yeah, I, I expect Blessing to play, anyways. Yeah, I I really do. I expect Blessing. I mean, how could he not? He saved us last game. Yeah. Um, he's got an ang- he's got anger in him. 
There's no doubt about it. Actually, all our guys are pretty angry right now. It's pretty cool when you talk to them. Uh, there's some <laughs> vinegar out there. Let's just say this. The training they've been doing has been all about Carson. There's no doubt about it. They want these guys. Everyone has said it. Um, nice. I got a chance to talk to El Munir briefly at the charity event last week. And I just mentioned, you ready for next week? You know, just, just shooting it. And he just straight up went, I want Carson. Like, he just, he's, I want those guys. I want the Galaxy. We need those guys. Like, he was there. And and everyone that's been talking to the to the team, that's the mindset. There's no dodging here. That's who they want. That's, this is what they wanted. Feels very much like a, like a Rocky versus Drago situation, right? Yeah. Um, time for some <laughs> revenge. Make it happen. Yeah. Um, they're ready guys. They're, they're so ready for this. I've said it multiple times um, to a few people, Joseph, where like you, you have to beat galaxy. If, if we're on our way to the first MLS cup, like you have to beat the, the rivals you have to. And it's so written. I, yeah. I wanted them too. And I actually caught myself like rooting for them at one point. Like, come on, go. What are you guys doing? I know. I know. Uh, um, can't. I know, and so it was. It's like one of those things, though. That you you definitely want them and to take them out, and what better way than to do it at home and and you know during the playoffs, um, send them send them packing. Uh, so I mean, it, it clearly the club feels the same way. So can't wait to no, see. No, it's happens, it's man. across the board. It's entire staff. It's entire front office. Everybody wants these guys. Everybody wants this matchup. It's it, there's no question about it. Yeah. They're they. It got revenge on their minds. There's no way, no way around it. it if they come out flat, I'll be shocked. All right, so we're running out of time. We have a couple other things to talk about, so mm -hmm. I want to jump into the the, the front three. Um, guess what? Deal's back. Deal's yep. back. So, yep, yep. as of October 18, ladies and gentlemen, Major League Soccer announced the reinstatement of Los Angeles Football Club forward. Adama Diomande. Diomande voluntarily entered the MLS Substance Abuse and Behavioral Health Program, or the SUB, on September 20th, and he was assessed by the program doctors. He has been cleared to resume all team activities, including competition. What does that mean? He could be playing this Thursday. Do you see that happening, Joseph? Do we see Avela, Dio, and Diego in the front? Or are we going to have... Something else. I, th I think uh, I think the lightning bolt goes in. Um, okay. Honestly, because Dio's been gone for a while, guys, and he hasn't been in. I mean, he's been training, but yeah, he hasn't been with the team necessarily training except now. I mean, he, he got back as of the team picture, as of media day, right? As of the season, he's back. I mean, he's been back, but I just I I, I find it hard because he hasn't had any games in him for a while, and. Honestly, yeah, I think tough. it works it works better for us to have Rodriguez in there in the first half and do what he can do. He'll be facing up. Honestly, I think Vela's going to be put in the middle for this one, and they're going to kind of helicopter it a little bit and see where the openings are and go from there. Mm -hmm. um, but you tell me, if it's Romney versus Brian Rodriguez, how long is Romney going to last? Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. So, so I you're, just... You're, you're calling yeah. a, a Brian Diego or Brian Vela Diego front yeah. three to start Dio yeah. making his way out of the bench. I think he's going to come in half. like, like, uh, you on his horse, man. Like, here 60, we go. 60th, 60th or 70th minute right around there. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, head him off at the pass, make it happen. Come yeah. in angry. There's nothing better than an angry Dio. I love when Dio's uh, got that that edge, and especially as a angry, sub, where he's like, "I got something to prove." Angry Dio is the best deal. When Dio's in the Dio element, right? Like, oh yeah, oh, dude. Yeah, he's he's one of my favorite players. When you see, you could see on his face when he's in that mode. Dio's ready, man. All I right. think he's gonna come in like that. That's what I'm waiting to see. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I, I I would love it, love it. Um. I think Elman here could get some minutes as well. well especially just, with that fire that he has, apparently. You know? Yeah, some fire there, I guys. Want, I want him in there. I want him yeah. in there, too. I want everybody to play. <laughs> Which, uh, can well, we, you got Cheeky as well, right? Can we so, have 18 against <laughs> whatever? Right, everybody <laughs> against them, right? Blackman gets his shot just, in, too, right? Like, What are those... Uh, uh, what are those matches called in WWE when it's like everybody against everybody? 
Oh, the the Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. Can we just make it a Royal Rumble on Thursday? I feel like that'd be so much more fun. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, hey, that's the first wrestling reference we've had. I think we're gonna have to give a shout out to Defenders on that one. There. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, there we go. Uh, you, honestly, <laughs> dude, I, I we got the options right to keep intensity on this team. We absolutely we just do. need to start the right way. It's, and and well, you know who we know. need is Quincy Amiriqua is who we need in our in our squad because of the whole. You got to do that. The the remember that with under the shoulder. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's ah, I love it. Love mental, it. <laughs> it's all mental game, man. It is, it's, it's, if she's healthy, mental. What was that? I think Kay could get in there under some skin there. Like he could. I hope so. Angry. He he Ah. has a fire too. When he gets mad, angry, angry Mac is a, is a good Mac too. He's a good Mac dude. Yeah. Yeah. He got the intensity. I think we need some fire. We need some Zim fire, right? Oh, I want to see an angry Zim. Yeah. It's been a while too. What? What's up? We need angry Zim. I need Zim scoring a header on a corner kick, you know, like, like that. Man, LAFC just posted a, a date in the life of Walker Zimmerman. You know how they do the picture things that mm-hmm. the magical, super ridiculously talented Mr. Imad uh, Bolotok, uh takes pictures of. That guy is a genius. Um, and these pictures make uh, Walker Zimmerman just seem like such a normal dude. Uh, yes, his, he is. Well, he is, but he's like walking around <laughs> and he goes to like, he goes, I think he went to... Like UCLA, and he's coaching over there and hanging out with Lee Wynn. And I was just like, man, so, these guys are having a good time in LA, just hanging out. I, I will tell you this. Um, probably not supposed to, but I will because Ooh, Zim is Zim, dude. Um, <laughs> I went to a training session once, and uh, yeah, uh, he puts in extra time to work with our academy kids, and people don't really understand that. I and think, and he, he counsels the younger he, players. He likes the coaching. He does. He yeah. will be a coach. I can think it's a guarantee with him. Um, but he does take younger players under his wing. And That's he's awesome. always had the willingness to do so. I think that goes back to his time with Pareja at Dallas as a young player um, going in in their system. And so he has this appreciation for academy players and, and, and helping them out, you know, because he got help. So yeah. Zim's a special guy. He is. That's awesome. Um, we're lucky to have him. Um, even luckier when he's as healthy as can be. So I hope he's fully recovered and ready for this one because, you know, he's got his eye on revenge too. Fingers fingers are all crossed. crossed. You can't see my toes, but those are crossed too. Yeah. All right. So anything yeah. else you want to add uh, as far as Galaxy goes? We have a couple other things to go over real quick before um, we uh, call it a night. But um, you had a big old long sheet. Thank you for being super prepared. I was not. By the way, that I, you know, I, I never like to analyze these guys because I just never even like to talk about them. I hate them. <laughs> God, I, um, I they're my only argument for relegation. Like, I, I feel like I if I would have said, hey, we're not going to record today. I feel like if <laughs> I, know, I feel like if I would have said, hey, man, I don't know if I can record today. You'd be like, yeah, I don't want to talk about them anyways. And <laughs> you would have been OK with it. Um, F, F that. Yeah. Like, I, I yeah, don't we gotta care talk about them. them. I don't like them. Um I've got enough piss and vinegar to leave those guys that I, yeah, and I can't wait to be in the stands against them this week. I don't care. I just, yeah, yeah it's war for me. It's war for a lot of us. It has to be. All right, and we're yeah. just hoping that our boys have the same passion on but Thursday. They, just, they, they better. They better. freaking better. They sound okay. like they do. Yeah. We got to see it on the field. Okay. So is that, are you good with the uh, Galaxy good, stuff? Man. I'm good. All right, yeah. so there's a couple other things we want to go over super fast because we're, like, coming down to the wire here. Oh, yeah, uh, EMLS. EMLS in 2020. There's a few things we missed while we were gone last week. So EMLS in 2020, the Los Angeles Football Club announced that it's officially entering into M- EMLS, M- a major league soccer's competitive gaming league com- competing in the EA Sports FIFA franchise. That was a tongue twister. The black and gold are the latest addition to EMLS, which includes 25 EMLS competitors, each representing different MLS clubs. Austin FC and Nashville SC will also join EMLS. What? Oh, all right. LAFC will host an online selection qualifying tournament in search of the club's first ever esports player to represent the club in EMLS competitions. 
What does that mean? It's probably going to be a person from Los Angeles. That's pretty cool. Uh, three qualifying round com- competitions will take place on October 26th, so that's coming up pretty soon. Uh, November 1st and then the 3rd uh, before the top performers of the first three rounds battle in the final on Wednesday, November 6th. So that's when we're going to get our player. Uh, MLS announced the creation of EMLS in uh, 2018, January 2018, dedicated eSports league with uh, the professional EA Sports FIFA players representing MLS clubs. Uh, EMLS activates via a competitive season. That's pretty cool. So just for those gamers out there, you know, the, the league is growing and now we have e- EMLS. So uh, something else to cover, Joseph, here on the show would be kind of cool. Um, it's not like su- it's not a lot, you know, and it'll only, only be one player. So I'll be nice. Um, inclusive of EMLS League Series and EMLS Cup presented by PlayStation and other gaming programming. Uh, and then make sure you follow LAFC has a dedicated esports, esports Instagram channel now. So at LAFC Gaming and then Twitter at LAFC Gaming. So, cool stuff. I mean, it, it, I'm excited to see who plays, and hopefully he's good. I know the the last winner uh, was is, like, su- super professional, and he's for, he plays for Philadelphia Union, I think. So, mm-hmm. I mean, good stuff. I think so, yeah. So, I just noticed PlayStation, right? Uh-huh. PlayStation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. PlayStation. I got that. PlayStation. Time of a comeback, man. Video game comeback, baby. Ugh. Let's do this. Do this. I tried. I try to like convince. Oh, a PlayStation Five is coming out like in I think a year or so, and yeah. I was telling my wife how I need it, and she said, "No, you don't." So well, I have the I have the latest PlayStation, and uh, honestly, it's turned into more of a media player than a video game uh, system for me. Mm-hmm. Dude, Netflix, Amazon, all that fun stuff. Yeah. Watching MLS games on there, watching Open Cup. Yeah, I don't hardly even using it for gaming. Yeah, what can you say? Well, um, but yeah, man, I. Probably a little older for it, but I'll I'll give it a shot. Why not? Right? Why not? Have fun with yeah, it. Not too old. Shush, shush your face. All right. Um, <laughs> you get, get another thing that happened. Target. The Los yes. Angeles Football Club announced that retail brand Target is going to take its place as one of the club's Golden Boot Club members beginning in the 2020 season. It's a multi-year partnership, which includes the Target logo prominently displayed on the sleeve of LAFC's primary and secondary jerseys. It's going to be on the left sleeve, my understanding. Um, yeah, right above the MLS logo is where it's going to go. Right. Uh, oh, that's actually a, like, like a shoulder, a high shoulder patch. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my, not bad, actually. That's my understanding. Uh, there's some quotes in here. Uh, this is another historic day for our club as we welcome Target to the Black and Gold family. Set. uh LAFC president and owner Tom Penn. Target is an innovative leader that shares our passion for culture, community, and inclusivity. We're proud to showcase Target on our jerseys and through the LAFC community and also uh, put LAFC in the face of wives everywhere because Target, that was me, I just added that. My wife loves Target. Uh, It's the $100 store. They're opening a Target right down the street from my house and I'm hoping that they have some LAFC gear. We'll see. They do well. Yeah, for you might be different, but I know yeah, they like, probably eh, will. Oh, man, dude. yeah, dude. Uh, they actually here. They had a lot of LFC stuff. That's amazing. Around here, that's cool. So, I know they yeah. had it like WSS, right? They had a whole bunch of stuff there too. Yeah, so. well, another good sponsor for us. But honestly, I gotta say, I like the Target sponsorship on the sleeve. I hate when they put it on the chest. Like the All Star jerseys are atrocious because of that. Like I just, I to me, it looks like a Far Side like cartoon, right? Bummer, Burke, Mark, yeah, Al. So. Like it just throws me off but when it's on the arm it actually looks pretty cool so yeah and and actually there's some more information in here uh let's see here it says uh, as the newest member of lafc's golden boot club target stands alongside bank of california delta airlines at mexico heineken kaiser permanente toyota and youtube tv uh, oh. the golden boot club provides exclusive access visibility and experience for lafc's elite level of partnership blah 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 blah, blah. MLS announced approval of sponsored sleeve patch sales on team uniforms in October 2018. Uh, so, by the way, first ever LAFC uh, mm-hmm. to announce it. The size of the spon- oh, here we go. The size of the sponsored sleeve patch will be roughly the same size as the existing MLS logo on the right jersey sleeve. Uh, roughly two, but it's going to be on the left, I think. Uh, it says roughly 2.5 by 2.5 inches. So it's not. It's not that big. Uh, A new initiative is a multi-year pilot program and available only to those clubs that have already secured a primary jersey sponsor. So there you go. So for example, what they're trying to say is, hey, San Jose, sorry, but you can't have a sleeve uh, 
<laughs> sponsor. You have to get something in the front first. So. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So it's only available for those that have already secured a primary jersey sponsor. Hmm. Okay. okay. <laughs> By the way, if you want to know why the jersey is not in gold, where it says YouTube TV, the logo, oh. you can I know you can t- listen to the interview over at shoulder to shoulder. They did a great interview with Mark Mark Ross, I believe is his name, who is the YouTube basically the guy that made it happen and the reason why we have YouTube TV on our jersey. Uh, great story, and you, it, he's a season ticket holder. He's uh, he's all in with his kids too, so it's really cool. Go check that episode out if you get a chance. Uh, still fighting, man. Still fighting that fight. I yep. still I still want all yep. gold. It's good enough for the biggest clubs in the world to monochrome their their front sponsors. I don't know why we can't get the same respect. <laughs> Roberto Espinosa Just... said, "Jerry gonna be broke." That's right. Yes. Oh, Matt Reese. That's his name. Thank you, Al. Just saying. I think it's a respect thing. Sure. Yeah. Um, it, it's a multi-year. So, okay. Here's another thing is they basically said for the next next year, we're going to get a new home jersey, a new black jersey. And it, that will also have YouTube uh, TV. Mm-hmm. And now what that means is for the next two years, we're going to have YouTube TV, at least for the next two years. It sounds to me like it's a much longer partnership that they've already kind of signed on. They don't talk about the amount of time. Uh, but it sounds to me like we're going to have YouTube TV for quite a few years. So just get used to that, guys. Uh, I mean, as much as we don't like the appearance on the shirt because of the multicolor, um, the support that we get from them is pretty, pretty good compared to the rest of the league sponsorships on their jerseys. Like, we get a lot out of it. So yeah, it uh, makes lots. sense to continue on. It's multi-million. So if, uh, yeah, I mean, if it really And we get bothers- a show. And we get a channel. If it really bothers you that much, you didn't hear it here, but you can always go to the Callejones and go get a gold YouTube TV logo. I'm just saying. Sharpie, man. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, bro. Oh, man. All right. Yeah. I didn't say nothing, though. Nothing. Nada. Bootleg. Bootleg. What? So, along with yeah. uh, that, I mean, is there any watch parties going on for this Thursday? Because there's some people that can't afford these $3,000 tickets, by the way, Joseph. <sighs> Oh, man. So <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there, guys. If you're selling North End tickets for extremely high prices, there's a good chance you're not going to have a season ticket next year. I'm just going to throw it out there. Yeah. Good job, guys. Yeah. Um, this is how you lose your tickets. This is how you lose your tickets. This is basically scalping at this point. If you're in the North End, I dare you. Um, I'm just going to say it like that. So, um, we need to have the best performance we've ever had in the North End. And we're not going to have that by gouging other people. No. Nope. That's not the spirit of the North End. So if you're doing that, I question you, especially the biggest game in our club's history. If you're selling out, because that is selling out, dude, make room for someone else that's going to do it the right way. Seriously. Uh, I have no love for anybody that's going to gouge another supporter. Same. Like, sorry. You're killing the spirit right there, you know? I agree. Um, that's not what gets the biggest clubs in the world as big as they are. That ain't it. Um, yeah, that's that's busted, you know? So good luck with that. You won't probably won't have season tickets for a very long time if it's, if it's figured out. Um, yeah, fair warning on that. So those who do want to stay with us next year, show some respect. Bring in your best friends. Bring in the ones that are going to sing for 90 minutes, and let's give these guys absolute hell for 90 um, rather than just trying to make a quick buck, money comes and goes. This is this is this is bigger, much bigger. I agree. Yep. Don't hide your kids. Don't hide your wives. Bring your kids. Bring your wives. Yeah, I hear winning games. Yep, that's right. No, yep. seriously, I agree with everything that you're saying, 100. percent And also, um, good for the club to be uh, doing that and being basically like, hey, oh yeah, three thousand dollars. Is that what? You, oh, is that what you're trying to do? All right. Guess what? Go I'm support another team. Yeah. Like, seriously. Go support Carson. They allow that. Whatever. Yep. Uh, passion over profit. That's correct. I've seen it a couple of times now uh, on the comments and reactions. Say it, mean it. That supporter culture is how it should be. That's right. Um, you know, if we could get a proper ticket exchange going, we would have had one. I mean, we're, try- we're trying. 
Um, yeah. But it should be like that. Within your supporter groups is work on an exchange, guys. Make it happen. Do it the right way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me see if I can play this real quick also. Um, I want to make sure that uh, at least we tried. Oh. What's this, Joseph? If you guys don't know what I'm playing right now, you're hiding under a rock or something. <laughs> So good, man. All right. So what you need to do is right now, get ready for this because you need to learn some Korean. LAFC Mm -hmm. underscore TSG. Go over to the uh, Tigers Instagram. I think it's on Twitter. It's pretty much everywhere on social media. That is the first ever LAFC, one of many, hopefully, uh, Korean chants. One of many. Um, uh, it's amazing, dude. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Translates to uh, where you are, even in our dreams, we will follow you. Um, and it basically says, I love LAFC. Um, so, yeah, go and learn it right now. Okay? Dude, um, Do it. even better, if you want to practice it live, Ooh. be at the Bank of California Stadium tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. at the HQ. If you're listening to this in the morning, tonight at 7.30 Seven thirty Tuesday night. Um, I may be there, people. Hey. We'll see. Yeah, try to make it. Up? Um, just saying. Uh, there will be um, inspired by TSG. There will actually be a new c- merchandise released. Dude, it looks amazing. Uh, by the way, in, I saw it already in, in Korean. It's amazing. Yep. You know, back in K Town. Okay, uh, the scarf is so. The scarves are, dude. The yellow white one. Oof. I I must I must have. It's beautiful. Uh, that thing is is I have to have it. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to happen. Um, so I'm probably going to be there for that. Um, and then, dude, the shirts. Dude, again, I love it when we do this because that is so L.A. Like, that is real L.A. So. Yeah, I it says uh, on the front, it says Los Angeles Football Club in Korean. Mm-hmm. My understanding. So mm-hmm. cool stuff. Man. So we, we've had shirts in Korean and Farsi. Farsi. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Uh, Arabic. Yep. Mm hmm. That's LAFC. That's right. Awesome. That's LA. That, that's real so LA. So good. So good. So, I love it. Dude, yeah, be there. We're going to practice that song live for sure um, tomorrow or Tuesday, since it's probably going to Shout end out tomorrow. to the Tigers. You guys are killing it. TSG. TSG. Amazing. Yep. Amazing, guys. Awesome stuff. Um, Dude, we're we're out, we're out of, we're out of time, Joseph. But uh, man, this is playoff edition, man. It's all good. I know. We already went over. I don't care. Uh, it, yeah. Real quick, also wanted to say congratulations to the president and the the first lady, Jimmy and Cassie Lopez, got married uh, not that long ago, a couple weeks ago, and uh, wow, it's already been a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a woman? Amazing, amazing, and awesome. Crazy, and especially with Cassie. What a fighter! Oh my gosh, through, she's amazing. Going through emergency she looks sur- so surgery. Beautiful. Like we didn't want to talk about it too much, but yeah, she had an emergency procedure, and yeah. then a week later, she's dancing at her wedding. Like amazing. She's such a trooper. She looked beautiful. Mm-hmm. Jimmy looked gorgeous as always. As always, dude. The black on black was. Classy. You guys all yeah. looked great, man. I know you got a couple of people going, Whoa, look at Joseph. Look at Joseph. Yeah, no, you look great. Awesome. Wait, look. man. Yeah, right now. I I, I was that suit I was didn't like, realize how much I lost until I wore that suit. Uh, like, that's what it was the cut. It was the cut of that suit. It was a cut, dude. Like I, I've never actually been able to wear a slim fit and those were slim fit tuxes. Yeah, it was so, nice. It was a great time. I I I don't know how I got put in the table that I got put in, but I uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. It's a power uh, table. It was man. a power table. It was <laughs> weird. Uh, we were like one table away from you guys. Uh, that was a power table over there. But I was with a uh, with Pat, his his lovely wife. I was with uh, Sticks, his lovely wife. I was with Rich, and his lovely wife, and my lovely wife. Um, so it was a it was a good table. And then uh, we had a couple people come in. We had uh, Ben Shea came in. Um, mm. 
you know, and uh, to say hi, and then a few other there? people. What's that? Robbie, Marcus. Robbie. Oh yeah, Robbie. Marcus was one over Mod. Uh, with a mod. Mod was. Uh, it was man, what a star-studded wedding, dude! It was. D nine U was in the D9 house. D nine U. Everybody was in the house. Everybody like, you know, was there, man. It was it totally was, it was some, awesome. It was a tailgate party. It was crazy. And it was Art, art Deco, uh, Roaring Twenties. Like, the dress was amazing, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like everybody was dressed to the nines and in period period pieces and. Shit filing with the food. Um, I Uh-oh. had, I was sick, so I had a bunch of Topo Chico, which I hadn't, I really hadn't drank. And to the honor of Jimmy, I said, I'm going to drink some Topo Chico tonight. And I had like three bottles of that stuff. They were so good. So dude, good. he gave me my, my gift pack. He gave me Topo Chico, dude. Nice. I'm just saying. It's good. Awesome. He actually had flavored Topo Chico for this one. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a grapefruit. And then he had like a it was lime, a lime, lime. Uh, the lime yeah. one was really good. But uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, congratulations, Jimmy, Cassie, you guys. Um, it was a beautiful wedding. We had a blast. The game, uh, if you didn't, w- here's the thing. It, if you didn't wake up the next night with like uh, with some streamer and a balloon tied at the end of it, then you weren't there. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it's still on my bedside right now. Uh, but yeah, that was a, yeah. that was Julian, I'm sorry, man. I, I understand you have to go to a chiropractor, but there's it's a okay. video floating around of Julian. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Shout out if you guys, uh, if you guys want to talk to us about what happened over there, we're not going to tell you, so don't even try. Uh, the, what happened in Temecula stays, stays in Temecula. Temecula. That's right. At at this beautiful place. No, but congrats, Jimmy and uh, and Cassie again. Um, wish you nothing but Amazing. the best. And man, you guys are already coolest damn couple ever. All right. Uh, any watch parties that you know of? Is everybody just going to go to free play? Is that what's going to end up happening for those that can't afford uh, no, the three thousand dollars tickets? Forming. I don't have the specifics, but I did hear that some some are breaking out. Pay attention to social media tomorrow. I think there's probably like three or four of them. But cool. I don't want to. I don't want to like shout out and give the wrong information. I'd rather have have you guys hunt that one down and just listen for it. It'll be yeah, there. Do some work. Uh, earn, there's, earn it with with the exorbitant pricing. Going going on, I can't blame you guys, and I really don't expect you guys to spend three hundred dollars on it. Dude, it's evil. Period. That evil. Um, that's not three thousand dollar tickets. Like, are you, are you kidding me? Well, um, the worst part but, is you have like a guy like Kevin Baxter. <laughs> oh, uh, no, I mean that's not even Bax. accurate, right? He's just name mentioning whatever the craziest highest said, price was. It wasn't as average. High, as high as three thousand. I don't think that's I mean, how you which you're ones supposed are to selling. say it. Yeah. Yeah. What's it selling? I do know. No one's buying the three thousand dollar freaking ticket. I know three hundred dollar tickets are selling, which stinks. Oh, um, that sucks. Um, but trust me, eyes and ears, baby, eyes and ears. Oh. Um, well, come, yeah. Come Don't mess around, it. guys. Keep yeah. it honest. That's it. Um, yeah. Show some respect for your fellow supporters, man. Make it right. Um, make it noisy. Make it classy. Own that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, there is somebody I need to shout out to since we missed our episode last week. Okay, go for it. You're live right now. Happy birthday to Tom Penn. Happy birthday, Tom. Mm-hmm. Dude, His one of the coolest guys. I have I have a cool story of Tom. I think I think everybody has a cool Tom story. Um, Mr. Penn, I don't know if you listened to us. I hope that you would. But you know, I just want to say first and foremost. You're one of the big reasons why I think in the beginning supporters were able to really feel like part of the club because you made us all feel welcome. And the fact that you would remember our names after like one meeting and say, hey, what's up? You know, and hi, Joseph. Hi, Jerry. Like it it means a lot. And so uh, supporters like that, uh, I mean, supporters, the owners like that don't usually treat supporters the way that you treated us in the beginning. So happy birthday, sir. Sorry we missed it. Still still treats us that way. Yeah, he still Um, does. I saw you him know, the other day, and he's I, like, hey, how you been? How's everything? And I know you told me that he asked about you and your health, and, like, you remember. My health in the locker room. Like, it was so, it was cool, because, and he, you know, he asked, he asked about the family, and, and, and. Too awesome. I sent him out a happy birthday, and, he, you know, we had a little quick back and forth after that, and, you know, he's at the charity event on Wednesday, and he's always, like, with, with us, it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah. How lucky we are to have him. Um, because he's, yeah. it's Absolutely. from the heart when you talk to him and for the longest time I was a little nervous, right? Cause it's on Ben, right? Um, 
But dude, he's super down to or super real. Um, again, guys, we're just lucky to have the organization we have. We're extremely blessed. So don't ever Good take people. that for granted, by the way, because these these are people that are behind the scenes that actually truly make a difference and actually truly care about. There's a passion, guys. About you just, us. Oh, yeah, and about what, about the culture. This is mm-hmm. this is much bigger than I, you know, we could have ever imagined. And so, cool stuff, man. I mean, this Thursday is huge. Um, I don't want to downplay that. It's huge, huge, huge. I think everybody knows that. I think we are ready for battle. Mm-hmm. Um, it, will it be a disadvantage that we have some time off and they're coming in on a high? Nope, I don't think so. I think these guys have mm-hmm. all been prepared, and I think they're they're they've been you know staying prepared. So now let's see what happens, man. Thursday, it's it's going down. Uh, yeah. LAFC's hosting the Galaxy Thursday, October twenty fourth. Biggest it. game in club history. It's a conference Western outside conference of opening semifinal. day. Yeah. yeah, outside of winning the supporter shield, this is the biggest game in our history. So hopefully you guys uh, can all make it out and uh, you know find some, I don't know, find some, uh, find some tickets that you can afford. So ask around, especially when it gets closer to game time. I, you know, don't be shocked if something pops open. Just saying, just saying. There it is. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing some buttons on. Uh, there you go. What you got? What you got there? I can't oh, even see it from there. Uh, they were talking on they're talking on the chat here. I'll show you guys. I'm not even wearing a hat, which is like the first my episode hair, my I've hair's not all worn crazy, a hat. but uh, yeah. what do I have? See? I have some Defenders. Oh, oh I see those, some fresh yeah. pins love. Fresh pins fresh there. Pins. And then Bone Storm, Black Army shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. What's the top one? 3252. There you go. Or as Tom Pence says, the 3252. He always does the, the 3252. All right. Uh, That's it, man. What are, Last yeah. parting words before Thursday, Joseph. Take if us into battle, sir. If you have a voice at the end of Thursday night, you're going to regret it. You're going to regret it. You ain't doing your job. Not doing your job. Give everything you have. Give a good reason not to go to work on Friday. Right? Give it all, guys. Yeah. Do everything you possibly can. The boys are going to do their part. I have faith in our boys. I do. They they've they were in such a heavy funk after the last time with these guys. It was real after that for them. No doubt. It's The sting was real. Okay? Sting yeah. was real for all of us. Um, I think this time it's, 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 this is revenge. And I expect nothing less than revenge. Um, we have to, you know, gloves are off. Honeymoon is over. This is it. This is what you play for. This is what you grow up for. That big goal late in the game, stealing one, taking the city. This is ours. Um, That's right. This is our city. No matter what happens on the field, this is our city. They better defend it. You know, we invest a hell of a lot more than seven billboards that can fit in a Fiat. Oh. That's simple. So show it, live it, get above it. There you go. Heard it from the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Joseph Sacker. We are going into war this Thursday, October 24th. Guess what? We're at home. The 2019 Audi MLS Cup Western Conference semifinal game set to kick off at Bank of California Stadium at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. It will be broadcast on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, ESPN 710 AM, and KFWB 980. If you can make it there, if you can find tickets that are affordable, please be there. This is not one you want to miss. All right? That's it. That's going to do it for us. We will see you next time. And, uh, you know, we're going to be talking very soon. Uh, hopefully, we'll be very happy. Joseph, you want to go grab that thing and just kind of... Do I need to? Do, do I, I need think to? You, I think you all need right. to, sir. Go all grab right, all it. right, all right. All right. Well, we wait for Joseph to go grab this thing. Oh, look at—he's getting used to it. He's carrying it like a baby. <laughs> that is the yeah. supporter. Sh- look Get at my that. mic back on. God, Get that thing connected again. Oh man, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna make you the screen right now. There it is. Microphone yes. out of the way here. Make this bad boy official. You see it a little better We're now. We're just—I don't even know if it's true, but I'm just gonna go ahead and claim it, ladies and gentlemen. We are the first podcast to have a supporter shield present at a recording. Thank you, Mr. Joseph Sacker. 
Go. Ah, uh, doing thing doing is, my part for the cause, boys. That thing is beautiful. Loving every every second that we have this thing. I hope it never gets old. I'll lift one again for everybody. Yeah. So you and guess what? It's a 2019 Los Angeles Football Club right there now. Yes. All right. With Is that, that beautiful or what? <sighs> yeah. Man. <sighs> All that, day, every day. <laughs> Polished it too. I get my fingerprints back off it, but I actually cleaned this darn thing. Uh, um, I'll probably clean it again tonight. We're gonna call. <laughs> we're gonna call it a night because I think Joseph will need some time with it alone. So. <sighs> nah, man. This is again. <laughs> That's Look at awesome. that shine on that bell. Oh, that's beautiful. If you're if you're listening, I'm yeah. sorry guys. If you're listening on just audio, just go to the YouTube page and watch this. Because it's beautiful. Sorry, guys. It's just I'm geeky. It's be it's beautiful. Um, so this is exclusive for the YouTube video. All right. Thank you guys Again, for listening. No, but one more than four times, it's hard to get, guys. So Yeah. It will be around. We have it for a year. There you it's go. not going away, going away. After the playoffs are over. Um Trust me, it's going to make the rounds. You're going to get a chance to see it. You're going to get a chance to have some time with it. Yes. Um, we get it for an entire year. We don't have to give it back until oh, probably October, late September next year, unless unless we secure it again. So um, the hope is we won't have to give it back. Back to back. Keep it a little bit longer. So nice. You did a great job of making you, it shiny, by the way. That looks beautiful. I did. <laughs> it is taking a beating there. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, man. But, all right, that's it. That's gonna do it for us. That's it. How much better? How better way to end this than to say we're we're ready for battle and we have a shield to protect us. So, Mister Joseph Sacker, are you ready? Can we call a night? Night called. All right. Yep. Love you guys. See you in the North End on Thursday. Be there. Give everything you got. Have a good night, everybody. For Mr. Joseph Zacker, my name is Jerry Jimenez, and you have been listening to the heart of LAFC podcast. Stay golden. Thank you for listening to the heart of LAFC. Make sure to leave us a rating and review on iTunes or Stitcher. Shoulder to shoulder, the black and gold is taking over.